Hello everybody and welcome to another unboxing video. This time what I have for you guys is the Su-27 UB Flanker C from Trumpeteer. It's in 1-144th scale. And yeah, it's a really cool plane as you can see. I got this from uh, Tower Hobbies for uh, 10 bucks. It was reduced because it had excess, I think. Excess quantities. So I got it for 10 bucks plus the shipping, which was about 2 bucks. So yeah, not too bad. It's a... Uh, 60 parts plus and uh, well you can see the length there it's about 155 156 millimeters wingspan 105 it's for the size it's kind of big so let's take you around the box here real quick and let me see if I can get a focus on this thing there we go Nice little profile picture, drawing, and then I'll let you read that. There we go. You can pause it if you want. And I guess this was distributed by Stevens International. So kit number zero three nine one six. We won't bother with the signs because it's the same. Then here we go, top and bottom view. There's a picture of the decals that are included. You can build two versions of this aircraft the service, and of course, that one for the flight team. There we go. So, let's go ahead and get this guy open. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Yeah, there we go. And I already opened up the bags for you guys, so it's easier to see. So, let me go ahead and uh, well, first of all, we got one, two, three, four, and five sprues, plus a nice little coloring guide, nice in color, that's pretty cool. So I'll let you have a go at the colors there. And this will be for the Russian Knights, as they're called. So it's pretty cool. There you go. And as you can see, this is for that version there. Russian Air Force, Russian Knights. Too high, November 2012. Of course, I'm probably butchering the name, but that's all right. And then this is probably the version I'll be building. So there you go. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Uh, I think the painting guide is the same. Well, maybe not. Okay, so this is a different color guide. There you go. And then, of course, you can see the profile views. Nice. Real nice. So there you have that. Then we have a flyer here for upcoming kits in uh, 2014 between August and October. So I'll just give you a quick glance. Actually, that's the one that I, we, that I just got there. I'll let you read that real quick. Okay, as soon as it focuses. There we go. And you have to excuse all the ambient noise out here, but I decided to do this video outside because the weather's kind of nice. So there's the bag for the Russian Navy Cesarevich. I know I'm butchering it too, but well, sorry. So that covers the flyer for upcoming kits. And then here we have the instruction manual. There we go. And it's really simple. It's just a 
four pages, or three pages, one of which consists of the parts layout. There you go. And of course, there's a couple parts that aren't used. Mm hmm. Now let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's basically, I think, a couple of the weapon system and some other parts for a different version, I guess. Uh, yeah. Oh, hold on, guys. Let me pause this real quick. Alrighty, so moving on. So here's the first set of instructions. It looks, you know, pretty basic. There we go. I'll scroll down slowly so you guys can sort of get the idea. Okay. And then, next page. So you got the armament load suggestions there. And that's it for the instructions. And then of course you got your decals. Uh, I'm not gonna open these up though, so you can kind of sort of see what's in there. It's upside down of course, but you get the picture. And let's go on with the parts. So let me go ahead and uh, take these out. Actually, let me use this box so you guys can have a better look at them. And let's start off with, I guess, the main runner. So, I hope you guys can see this pretty well. I can't. So let me do something with that. There we go. So, two nozzles, cones, and uh, I think one of them is not used, maybe? I'll have to look at the instructions for that. Um, got the afterburner cans there, nicely detailed. You can see the feathers there, nice. Cockpit tub, you got two different versions for the single seat, so I guess that's one of the parts that's not used. Landing gear, let me get a close up because that looks pretty detailed. Yeah, nice. Okay, and then we got a different set of afterburner cans. I guess that's the afterburner ones and just, just the regular ones. So, moving along, intakes, pretty well detailed for the size. And uh, let me see if I can get some of these panel lines to show. As soon as my camera focus, there we go. Look at that. Engraved panel detailing on a, on this kit too. There are wheels. And there's your pilot seat. One of them, anyways. And they have some detail there. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So it's all right. So main landing gear, the front one. Or oh, that's the front one, I'm sorry. I think or Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> so let's keep going here. You can you see the under side of the Fuselage, there we go, nice and detailed, get okay, those panel lines, a bit oversized for the size, of, for the scale of the kit, but they still look nice though. Nicely detailed, fine recess panel lining all throughout. And if you haven't noticed, there is no flash. So let's look at the, oh yeah, here's the, the 
fans for the engine. Let me see if I can get some. Uh... Oh, come on. Focus on that. Focus. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Let's see. There we go. Basic detail. Well, I wonder if and to make this kit nicely detailed in this size. That would look so awesome. That would look so awesome. Just doing the fans though would be a challenge. The fan blades. Hmm. Okay, let's turn it around so you can see the cockpit tub. And not really detailed in there. Too small, but let's see what I can do with it. Whenever I get around to it, of course. But again, look at the side on this side. Detail on the landing gear is pretty cool. Pretty well done. All right, moving along. All right, sorry for that pause, but some smoker came over here and did his thing, so just had to pause it for a minute. But anyway, it's moving along. Here's the second set of sprues. These is two of the same, and this basically is all the weapons. And I put one, one of them facing forward, and the other one backwards, so you can see both sides of the sprue there. And if you can see, if you can see, nicely detailed as well. Panel lining and all that good stuff. I mean. These are nicely detailed for such a small missile there. Look at that. Nice. Real nice. Okay, and again, no flash whatsoever. Then you have the opposite side. Nicely detailed. Let me see if I can get a good close up on that there. Pretty good, pretty good. So, nice little set of missiles there. Okay, let's get the next runner going. And let's see, get a start with the vertical stabilizers there we are fine and great detail and everything in between look at that nice so All right, guys. Sorry, I had to change area because people just kept coming and poisoning their lungs. So, and then of course they had a grass cutter over there. But anyways, let's keep going. Now you can probably hear it now. So here's the cockpit, the canopy. This was inside this little styrofoam protection to keep it nice and scratch free. And let me see. Let me get a close up because this cock, this uh, canopy looks really nice clear from what I can see nice and clear scratch free the only thing this has is a mold line in the center if you'll see there but that's easily correctable I'm pretty sure and of course that uh, ejector mark I think on the frame there in the middle oh, come on focus there we go but otherwise nice so with such a clear canopy might wanna might wanna decorate the interior of the aircraft get some scratch building skills going there oh come on get in there 
me just put this back in here so it don't get scratched. Come on. Get it in there. Oh, are you serious? All right, I'll do that later. So, and then last but not least, definitely not least, the upper part of the airframe. Um, uh, wish I had a ruler here with me, but well, I think I told you the size of this thing. It's about, what, 156 millimeters in length. There's my hand, if that gives you any idea. So it's pretty decent size for a 1 144 scale. Now let's see if I can get a close up of the detailing on this thing, because it's nice. If my camera would focus, of course, even in clear weather like this. There we go. So, I don't know what you guys can see, but I'm looking at my screen right now, and you can see all those panel lining, man. Amazing. Real nice. Okay, you just have to send that off there. Ejector pin mark, maybe, or from the sprue, something. Anyways, you can see that. All throughout, real nice. Mm, not too much detail in the cockpit area. But if you have some skills, which I'm sure you guys do, should be no problem just adding uh, a little bit of detail in there. And of course, underside, the wing is part of this, so that's a plus. Same thing with the rear horizontal stabilators. And you got some detail on the wheel wells. Look at that. Nice. So that's that's pretty much it for this kit. I definitely recommend getting this kit if you guys are into 1144 scale kits. Or if you just love this Su-27, man. It's a nice kit to have. Doesn't take much space to display in. So... There you have it. I hope this video helps you guys in deciding whether to get this kit or not. Definitely recommend it though. All right, take it easy, y'all. And again, in case you missed the box art again, that's it right there. All right, take care, y'all. Bye. Oops.